Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here. And if you're like me, you have realized that you need a plan for communication. I personally can't be out in the world improvising conversations. In Populi, we have communication plans that help to make your communication with prospects, students, or even staff more efficient. This video is closely related to another one. We're going to cover the big picture of communication plans in this one, and the other video will contain the nitty gritty details of creating different event types. It'll make most sense to watch this current video first, so hopefully you're doing that. Anyone with the staff role can create and apply communication plans. They have a wide variety of uses, so we'll show you a few here, but please let your imagination run wild. Here's the basic idea. Let's say that you have a club at your school that requires dues to be paid on a monthly basis. You wanna send a monthly email to remind members to pay their dues. You create the communication plan and then add emails to go out at the beginning of the month for the next nine months. Then you apply this communication plan to everyone in that club. That creates a host of scheduled events out there in the future, which are completed as the inevitable march of time continues on. This club at your school is for shepherds. They use the dues to buy new crooks to protect the baby lambs. So that's a simple version of what's possible. As you might expect, it gets more complicated. Communication plans can create three different events. Emails, which we just mentioned in our example, letters that you print out and mail, and then to-dos, which get assigned to staff in Populi. Staff gets notified about them, and then they ideally complete those. So three different types of events. Let's look at adding a new communications plan. Admissions teams at schools use communication plans pretty often. They do a lot of outbound communication with prospective students. So we'll set up a communication plan that admissions might use after they receive an inquiry from a student. We're going to breeze over creating the actual events. This will be covered in much greater detail by the event types on communication plans video that I mentioned at the beginning. We'll go to communications, communication plans, and then we'll click add communication plan. Give it a name and use the three event types to create your communication plan. You can have the communication plan send emails, print letters, and assign to-dos. So you'll mix and match those and then set the day number for each event. You'll also set up who the event goes to. Sender is the person who applies the communication plan to the profile, and the recipient is the profile owner. And then you can also choose someone else in Populi there, and then they'll receive the email or to-do. You can set those up to send an email on day one, and then two days later on day three, assign a to-do to an admissions rep to follow up about the email and so on. Just to be painfully clear, it's not like you only get to set up one of each event type. You don't just get to set up one email, one letter, and one to do. You can set up many, many events using those three event types. You set your communication plan up, add all your events, and then save that thing. You can see here that you can edit this. Yes, communication plans are editable. Okay, let's zoom out and look at this example. Three events, when we attach this communication plan to profiles, we're gonna generate scheduled events for each profile. Let's hop over and look at where those will show up. Over here on the scheduled events tab. It's empty currently, but we'll have a look in a bit. Now we're going to go and look at how we apply these communication plans to profiles. On any profile in Populi, you can go to the activity feed and click apply a communication plan. Then you select the plan, choose to whom it will be assigned, and set the date. Choosing to whom it will be assigned is basically choosing who will be identified by the communication plan as the sender. So on our plan, that could indicate who gets that to do to call the prospect. We also have that date on which you're applying the communication plan. You can set that to whatever makes sense. 
One of the things that you'll see in the event types video, or just as you're setting up your communication plan, is that for email events, you can set a time, not just the day at which those go out. Let's say it's 2 p.m. right now and I have this set to today's date. On the communication plan, this email is set to go out at 12 a.m. on day one. So that's already passed, that was midnight this morning. If the time is already passed, the email just gets sent right away. You can do this for each individual just this way, but you can also do it in mass. For students, you can use the data slicer if you have the academic admin or registrar role. For contacts, go to contacts, people, and then use the actions button. We're talking about admissions in our example. I can apply a communications plan on the applications table or over on the leads table. Let's do this as an example. I'm gonna filter this table to only look at inquiries, and then I'm going to attach a communications plan to those profiles. Once I do that, we've scheduled events. Let's head back over to communications, scheduled events. This is where we can see what's going on with the various events related to our communication plans. Now, are those the only ways that we can apply communication plans to profiles? I'm so happy to tell you that they are not. We can also use custom automations to apply communication plans. Our support team works with you and sets up automations behind the scenes. Then they're triggered by some event and then something automatic happens. Let's put some meat on those bones. Let's say an inquiry comes in, you have your inquiry communication plan, but you also have an automation set up to apply that communication plan whenever someone submits an inquiry. With that in place, whenever you connect an inquiry to a profile in Populi, Populi just automatically applies that communication plan to the inquirer's profile. We actually have a video and other documentation about custom automations, so check out the links. We've covered a lot, but Let's look at one more heading, other examples of things people do with communication plans. Onboarding students. This can be applied when a student is accepted to the school and it might contain various events related to that student registering, arriving on campus, attending orientation, and so on. Also, if you have processes with a bunch of to-dos for various staff, you can organize all those in a communication plan apply them to the student in question, and boom, you now have a way of tracking what's getting done. Think about this in terms of financial aid with all the various moving pieces there. You have everything that needs to happen to get a student ready to receive aid, then you create your to-dos in a communication plan and you apply that to a student. Now folks can easily see what they need to do to move that student along. Don't forget to check out the various related resources below, including that video on event types in communication plans. Also, if you want to explore more training options, you should be aware of our focus sessions. These are one hour long training sessions that take place over Zoom. You and several other Populi users meet up with a support rep get a little training, and then you get to ask questions. We have a rotating sequence of topics, so if you miss a session on something like admissions or billing, don't worry, it'll be rolling back around. You can get to the focus sessions by going to the knowledge base, clicking on announcements and releases, and then clicking into focus sessions. We've also popped a link directly to the focus sessions down in the description. I've been Josh for Populi, you've been great. Thanks for watching.